Scammers are everywhere. If there's one alarming lesson we've learned from our years of scam baiting, it's how nearby to scammers we are in our day-to-day -day lives. Scammers are not exclusive to any one place. They are everywhere. They might be your neighbor, your mechanic, or even your employer. In this episode of Fraud Hunters, we're tracking down and exposing a massive check fraud scam going on right here in the United States. They're using our very own trusted companies against us. And now, more than ever, the fake promise of employment or financial gain is snatching victims all over the country. Watch to the end of this video for a detailed, investigative look at a check fraud scam. And witness just how intricate and widespread this operation is. Please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell here at Trilogy Media to help us keep exposing these scumbags every single day. Special shout out to our Trilogy Media squad for the daily love and support and to Multivisions Canada for helping us make these videos and live streams possible. We've got a lot of work to do, so let's get started. Welcome to Fraud Hunters. and a producer and during this pandemic being uh, work has definitely slowed down for both acting and producing the whole entertainment industry I was on social media which I've been on a lot and I either on Facebook or Instagram or some app uh, you know some social media app I saw an ad I remember it looking like an ad and looking simple but professional you know, sometimes even on Facebook, you see things like, oh, jobs in your area, or, you know, apply to this, apply to that. It just popped up and looked clear, and it said, I believe it said $600 per week to have your car decaled, and it sounded great. It was like Frito-Lays, you can have a car wrap specialist, and you can get $600 a week for driving around in your car and just having your car wrapped with whatever it's going to say. And I'm at the point where I don't really care so much about what my car looks like anymore. I mean, as long as it's clean and working, it's all good. So I was like, sure, make $600 a week just for driving around. And I'm not even driving that much during a pandemic. That sounds great. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I believe it was just click here and fill out this form. It was super easy. When I actually filled out the application, it was literally just my name, my address, my phone number, and am I interested, like yes or no. Like it was a very simple question. So I was like, okay, I guess they're gonna ask more questions the next time around. You know, it wasn't like an email from an email address that I would be able to go, oh, you know, you get a lot of phishing email addresses come in your way asking for stuff or click here, click that. It was just filling in this very easy to fill out form. So, so much about it was easy and simple. So it made me go, okay, what do I got to lose? And then I received a text. It's on November 5th, 2020. Frito Lays Inc. received your application details, submitted for a job role as our company car advertisement personnel, and we would want you to reply in text, which stands that you accept the employment opportunities and will assign you a car wrap specialist, okay? HR officer Gary Mount. So I says, okay, I accept the employment opportunity. And he says, I'm glad to inform you that your information has been saved on our database and the check will be mailed out to you and, and we will surely keep you posted for further instructions and protocols. Once I got the actual FedEx envelope, which looked professional at first, with the check, I was like, ooh, money, 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 money. However, the check amount was not the check amount that 
I was expecting. It was more. And then, of course, the address not exactly matching up from what's on here to what's on the check, and just a few things that made me go, "Huh, something's fishy." I should probably, as much as I want to cash this check, I should probably contact my entertainment attorney, who's a voice of reason, send him all the details, and see if he thinks this smells a little fishy too. Let me look into this. Let me connect you to my buddy. Ask him. And then I was receiving all these text messages, nonstop text messages, delivered on this date at this location. Good morning. How are you this morning? We would like you to feed us back as regards to your check deposit for further instru- instructions. Okay, I await your feedback ASAP. May I have your attention? And there's lots of words that were spelt wrong. Go ahead and deposit the payment into your bank account or via mobile deposit. Good morning, and what's the update so that we can schedule your appointment with your card decal specialist? Good. I await your feedback. Good day. Please, may I hear from you for possible progress? Good morning. I understand you must be busy, but I want you to feed me back today as regards the check deposit for possible instructions. May I have your attention? Are you going to deposit it? So have you heard about these scams? I think it originates either from Craigslist or something, but they they promise you a, a way to make money by covering your car in advertisements. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I've got scammed actually myself. Okay. Um, 2014. We got contacted by somebody. Her name is Christina DeRosa. Okay. She is a client and friend of David Pierce, our attorney. Shout out to Pierce Law Group, LLP. She got looped into one of these scams. Thankfully, she didn't actually lose money, but she reached out to David because she was uh, suspicious that she was getting scammed. Mm -hmm. She said, hi, David, could you please advise if I should proceed and cash this check or maybe have you got involved with this deal? Something just doesn't feel right. A few weeks ago, I saw an ad on either Facebook or Instagram for this wrap your car and get paid $600 plus per week. I entered my info and it was just name and address and phone number. And are you interested? They said they sent me a check for $2,250 via FedEx. And as you can see from the picture below, they sent the check for more money, $2,950. And they really want me to go ahead and deposit it into my account. Am I being scammed? So this was the check from J. Ronnie Castleman in Hendersonville, Tennessee, to Christina DeRosa for twenty nine for $2,950. I had exactly the same scam in 2014. They are claiming to be from Frito-Lays Incorporated, HR officer Gary Mount. So David then reached out to me because he had he heard about like, this scam. He's like, hey, Mashton, that's what he calls me. Uh, you should look into this. So I reached out to this number. I said, my name's Ryan. A friend told me about this job opportunity with my car. And uh, he He's immediately, immediately like, took interested? the bait. Are you interested? Your role as our company car advertisement personnel, while you drive your daily routine with the company, advert sticker on your car and get paid at the end of the week. And I said, what company is it? He said, Frito-Lays Incorporated. Hello, Frito Burrito. How much does it pay? Kindly provide your full name, mailing address, email, and date of birth. Six fifty weekly. Not so, too shabby. It's like passive income. Sure. Just drive. Yeah. Of course. Ryan Benson. I give him our office address and my email and my date of birth, January 10th, 1994. I'm glad to inform you that your information have been saved on our database and the check will be mailed out to you, which is your first weekly pay. I will get back to you with the tracking number and the check. The specialist fund too will include it, which you will be given him her to wrap your car. You will sign agreement when the specialists get to your location, which will also give you a- access to select the kind of wrap you had prefer on your car from the catalog. Thanks. Yeah, this um, is deja vu. This is deja vu. So I said, thank for the opportunity. What's your name? His name is Gary Mount. Same guy. Uh, nice to meet you. I will refer to you as soon as when you get your car decal uh, specialist is assigned and for further instructions, okay. Okay, thank you. Good morning. This is uh, to inform you that payment check will be delivered to your mailbox. So remember a couple weeks ago, I said, hey, look out for FedEx because yeah. they're going to send Somebody's going to show so up. So this was this. So he gave me a tracking number. I checked the tracking number. It really was on the way, but it never showed up. So, you know, we you you were here. I was here. Parmesan was here. Yeah. Never got a check. So I said, I don't see any package. He said, left at the front door, package delivered to recipient address, release authorized. Did you check your surrounding? I said, I've checked everywhere. I don't see it. Right. Really? But we'll make sure get another okay. We are glad to have you in our advert team, but why are you not proactive with your response and replying uh, your message? I, I was 
uh, ghosting him a little bit just to piss him off. Good morning, another check will be mailed to you today. Check. Hello Ryan, please kindly snap your vehicle or text its color so that they can prepare your decal color that will blend with your vehicle color okay. Blend Sorry for delay, car is red. We'll look out for replacement check, thank you. Good day, please, this is notifying you that your paycheck is mailed with your tracking number, so you sent a second one. If anything, I'm scamming this guy out of FedEx money to pay to FedEx to overnight these things to me. I'll just loop this as much as I possibly can. New tracking number, decal specialist fund is included as discussion earlier. Kind of look out for tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Uh, we got it on uh, uh, Wednesday. Tracking number, payment worth $24.50. Go ahead and deposit the payment to your bank account or via mobile deposit. Keep me posted once you receive. And we got, he said, delivered, signed for by R. Ryan. Well, my name is not R. Ryan, it's Ryan Benson. Nobody signed for it, they left it at the front door and he wants to know, have you deposited the check? And he's been calling me. So they're not avoiding phone calls. He's very proactive in getting me to talk to him. Paycheck delivered and kindly acknowledge his receipt. Good day, Ryan. Several hours since you've received your paycheck, kindly go ahead and with the check deposit or provides the deposit slip for official records and proceed with the other process. Okay, can I have the deposit slip now for official record? Why are you so silent? Good morning, Ryan. When did your bank says that the funds will be available so we can schedule your specialist appointment towards that period? Okay, he called you another again. missed call. That was uh, yesterday, got the check, we'll deposit tomorrow, thank you, that's fine. When do I get my car set up? He said, soon as when the check clears from your bank, then we will schedule your appointment with your car decal expert, okay. I said, okay, yesterday again, can I have the deposit slip? He wants the deposit information, good morning. When did your bank says the funds will be available so that we can schedule your specialist appointment? Hello, I instructed your car decal specialist to call you and schedule an appointment with you and kindly let me know when you will be called when they called you today, they called Missed me again call. today at two, uh, just two hours ago, called me. I said, I will call you in the morning feeling very sick today. I pray I you pray. will get well soon. Thank you. Can I call you tomorrow? Okay. Or just go ahead and deposit the check with your bank mobile app for stress-free. Okay. So he really wants me to deposit this check, but here's the thing. I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to see on camera what is actually in here. I have not opened this package. He said I should be getting a check for $2,450. $2, <laughs> Ryan Benson to our office address from, uh, now here's the thing, the address that it came from for her was in Tennessee, but this is from Strickland's Boost Incorporated, 102 East, East Jackson Street in Dublin, Georgia. Okay. Dublin, one Georgia. From Tennessee, one from Dublin, Georgia. All okay. right, well, let's open it. Open that shit. It's- 2450, I, right? Yeah. yeah. That's what we're supposed to get. I had exactly the same. And it's gonna be. And it's a, almost empty. Yeah, with the exception of one check. It's gonna be only check. And look how oh, beautiful. Oh, would you look at that? It actually is twenty four fifty. Mm. I wonder. Okay, let me think about this for a second. So he said it's six fifty a week, right? Yes. Six fifty a week. And he said he's gonna send you the first month. Well, six fifty times three weeks is nineteen fifty. Uh, and another week is more than that. So that's interesting. This document has a colored background and microprinting. The reverse side includes an artificial watermark. Well, there's nothing on the reverse side and there's no microprinting on this check. It's just a fucking pattern of fucking, looks like someone jizzed on it. James River Insurance Company. Okay, PO Box 27648 in Richmond, Virginia. A lot of different addresses being used for this company. Frito, Virginia, Frito -Lay. Georgia, Tennessee. Dude, they almost got me, a scam baiter in 2014. Well, it was long before you ever were a scam baiter. Yes, exactly. James River Insurance Company. Why is they, Why are they paying me? You Isn't see? this Frito-Lay? You see how James valuable River to ask insurance questions company. from the way... Um... Maybe we should call them. Okay, there's a phone number here. They are in Richmond, Virginia. So either James River Insurance Company is a complete scam or the scammers are using their name and address. Legit, yep, legit businesses. Name Gary Mount. Okay, Gary, I'm gonna call Gary back right now. Send a text message. Send like, hey, just look. Okay, he didn't answer. Yeah, trying to call you. Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to deposit because my bank is closed. 
Shout out to Pierce Law Group, always protecting Trilogy Media Inc. David Pierce, love you, brother, and thank you for uh, protecting Christina. Nash. And Christina, can't wait to talk to you about this. So her check came from J. J. Ronnie Castleman. Totally different address. It looks the same, but hers is from Tennessee. This one is from Virginia. Addressed to the address and name given. Mine says Key Bank, National Association. Hers says Renaissance, Renaissance Bank, Bank in Henderson, Tennessee. Hers came, the return address. Ours Dublin. came from Strickland's Boost Inc. in Dublin, Georgia. Dublin, Georgia. Hers came from Epicor Software in Dublin, California. I know there's a Dublin, California. Is there a Dublin, Georgia? There is a Dublin, Georgia. Dublin, Georgia. Is that a coincidence? Two Dublins? Okay. Strickland's Boost Inc. Strickland's B O O T C. Oh, boots, not boost. Boots. Boots. Why would they be paying me from boots? 102 East Jackson Street, Dublin, Georgia. Same address. Let me look at their website. It's a fucking boot company. Why would they be paying me from a boot company? Okay, origin ID 478272. Let me look at this phone number. 478272 1209. Oh, that's different though. Yes, it is different. That is different. But it starts in the 478. 478272. Yep. That is different. So what happens if I call the phone number on here? Actually, this number's different. 1203, this is 4002. Why is it different? And this is 1209. So what a fuck. Facebook? Goes to a non-profit. Visit Dublin, Georgia. 10,000 people like and followed. Instagram. 2,000 weird followers. Okay, well, no one's answering. This is so fucking shady. Okay, from Christina's check came from Epicor, and I remember looking this up when she first sent it to me. Epicor Software in Dublin, California. Science 142 Dublin, California. So, what phone number did they give her? This is 949-585. And 9... 9- 5 so they changed the number by like one what? digit. What? This is a real company. Yes. On the last digit Up is in different. The, on the Bay Area. Epicor. Shuffle. It's a real real company. Distribution retail. So they changed the, the phone number from one digit. They put a real company's name on the return address. All right, let me call the number on her return address. Probably not real. I'm sorry. Extension one, four. Zero, zero, eight. Does not answer. No. You have reached Epicor Software after business hours. Please listen carefully as our options have changed. I went to Epicor's number though. So maybe it's one of their company extension numbers that isn't active. That could be a coincidence because they only changed one number, but that went, I, to, e- that went to Epicor. You Dub- know who's profiting Dublin, legally? FedEx. Well, I don't mind that. I'll, yes, I know. I would love no, I to don't. scam this asshole out of money paying him to FedEx. After all this is said and done, I'm going to reach out to him on like 20 different accounts and say, please FedEx me my money so I can do this and have him pay money to FedEx. As long as he's losing money, I don't give a fuck. What I want to know is why did he tell me 2450 And why is it 2450 If it's 650 a week, it's not right either way. It's more than three weeks. It's less than four weeks. I would love to take this to a bank and actually get their perspective on this. Don't have them cash it. But have them look at it and see we can do that. what's going we can on. Do that on Monday. Can I talk to the manager for real quick? Hi. Hi. We have a YouTube channel that we're busting scammers. There is a new scam going. If you put your own um, advertising in your car, right? And they say like, hey, we're paying six hundred fifty dollars. And if you just put a sticker for one month, we're going to send you a check. But they want money back, right? So basically what they do, uh, they send you $500 more and they say like, oh my God, we send you a little bit more, send us back and we'll yeah. deposit to your account. We're familiar with that. So. Did you guys have before like that? Yeah, I've had multiple customers come in with that. How, the same. 
how can you tell the check is uh, bound? So like, what do you can tell about this? Well, I can tell by looking at it that it's just the characteristics, the way it looks, it looks fake. Okay. It doesn't look real. Uh, I can guarantee you if I run it through the system, it's gonna tell us it's fake. So if you cash this right now against oh. your account, right. uh, and we allow you to cash it and we give you this money here, mm -hmm. um, by the next couple days, the item would bounce, and then right. we'll go into your account and take that money out. And if you don't have this money available, your, your account will become overdrawn. What would you do in that situation if you got scammed like this, this fake check that they are uh, sending you? Would you still be owing bank that money? Yeah, because you're putting the check at your own risk into your account. Without, even I don't even know that they, you know, like the company gave me that. That is correct. From just looking at it, um, I can tell that it's not a real check. Okay, well he didn't reply to my text yet. I did tell him earlier I would talk to him tomorrow. How ridiculous. I can, I can stall him till Monday. Okay. I've also told Christina to stall him, so. The scammer still thinks Christina is on the hook. It's still on the hook, yeah. Um, still. Thankfully, she didn't give him any money. This is so them. weird in because I hands. had this in my Scam head. Scam in our hands. A scammer touched this. And he paid for FedEx overnight. The fucking idiot. Let's take you down, bitch. Status update. We have since, as of this morning, I found would... the second shipment. I went to the neighbors and I was like, have you seen anything for Trilogy? They're like, yeah, there is something, something. It's actually the first shipment that I never got because it was left at the neighbor's office. So uh, good. if there's one positive out of all of this, it's that we you have, keep, keep spending we have money. scammed uh, Gar Gary Mount out of significant overnight shipping costs to Two FedEx. Overnights. So I might just have to have him send it to me again. You know, we'll just yeah. have to see what happens. Anyway, uh, he's been texting me nonstop, asking me, can we please, he's urging me to deposit this check. He really, really he wants this that. check deposited. So I need to get him on the phone. Hopefully he'll answer and find out what's going on with this. And then uh, we'll take it from there. So I'm gonna call Gary Mount. <laughs> Gary? Gary Mount, hey, it's Ryan, how are you? Yeah, I know, I'm fine, are you? How are you It's good, it sounds like you're in a, in a dishwasher. Um, can you um, can you maybe speak a little louder? I, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Yeah, so uh, thank you for your patience. I, uh, I was really fighting a, a flu bug this week, not feeling well and I couldn't get to the bank on time on Saturday. Um, but I got the check here. Um, now, you said it was 650 a week? Did you say you were trying to deposit, deposit the check and it's not, it's not green pen or something? What? Can you talk slower? I can't understand you very well. Yeah, I think I, think I can hear you from where I am. What, what's the just this? Why are you trying to deposit the check? Okay, but I'm just confused because you sent me two thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. Oh yes, you're right. Oh, that's good. Let me explain that to you. We actually sent you two thousand four fifty just because we actually added um, your special needs for for it. Um, so we want to take care of it. We're gonna send the rest money to your car because specialist. You're saying that you sent me extra that I need to pay the car specialist? Okay, this is, it's, it, I'm having a hard time understanding you, but uh, I, I guess uh, I just deposit the check, right? And then, uh, and then what happens? Yeah, you just, um, uh, once I have the check I think we wait to get the check cleared, then I'll let you know what's going to happen. Definitely, um, once the check probably is available, let me know, and I can tell them so that I can do an appointment with you. Uh... G Gary, it, 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 it sounds like you're speaking through your tonsils. I, I can't understand half of what you're saying. So, um, well, I have the Wait, check. What I'm saying is just this. Why do you have the SS code of that check? It's just because you have to send the remaining code of it. What language is this? Nope. Okay. Okay. 
You could be speaking Martian right now, and I wouldn't know the difference. So what's wrong with the past? You let me know so that I can tell them to, you know, okay? Okay, uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, uh, to uh, uh, deposit the check. Um, do, you, do you have an email address that I could, uh, I could uh, email you on just in case I have any issues? Okay, let me send my boss email address to you now. Yeah, te text me your email. You you sound like if if a nutcracker could speak. Okay, um, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go deposit the check this afternoon, uh, and then I'll let you know. Okay. Sounds okay. Good talk. All right, tell me your, your email. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Gary. Wow, Gary25129 at Gmail. And it's Gmail. So, let me email him. I'll send him a picture of my, of my car. Okay, Gary25129 at Gmail. Hi, it's Ryan. Here is my car. Okay, so here's what I can do. I'm going to create a link, uh, a tracking link, and but I need it to direct to a picture of an actual car. Yeah. So, let me... Let's um, Google a car. Did you... I told him the car was red. Okay. So red... Um, Let's do red Toyota. Red Toyota Corolla, Corolla in Texas. Um, Perfect. Look at this. But it needs to look... It looks, needs to look like a bad photo. At more suitable. Yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, got the link. Hi, Gary. Here is a picture of my car. Maybe please click and let me know if it's suitable me, for you guys. Let me know if this will be suitable for the car. For the advertisement. Specialist. Yeah, it's got a specialist. <clears throat> Thanks. Okay. Sending him the link. Hopefully he clicks it. Um... And we I'll can text, text him, him right now that we send him, yeah. And then I'll also invite him on Google Hangouts, see if I can DM him there. Gary? Gary. Hey. I don't I can't see you. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. You know, you know, you know I told you I've not used you before. What's that? I can see it clearly. So what do you want to show me? Uh, I can't see what you. What do you say you want to show me? What am I, what is, I can't, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna take the phone outside and show you the car because I, I need to make sure it works, but uh, I can't see you. But me, I, I, I can actually see you from my hand. I don't know what is wrong. I'm, the camera I works. You, you're, 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 you just gotta pick up the camera. Stop. Can you see me? I said, you're a really, really Santa car, so I can see you. Oh yeah, yeah, you like my hat? Yeah, I like it. Oh, thanks. No, you go ahead. I, I can see. Once I can see, at least you only want to show me the vehicle, then I'm, I think I'm good with it. Well, yeah, but I can't see you. I just, out of respect, can I just at least like say hi? I'm, I mean, I'm gonna be working for you for a while. I hope so. We are. Huh? Are you showing me to me or not? What, Gary? I said, take the phone out and show me the vehicle. Let me see this. It's condition, please. Yeah, I'm gonna take it outside, but I just I just wanted to see you so I could say hi out of respect. You take it, take it, take it, take it, I will, but can I see you first? I mean, it's kind of weird. I can't see you. So can you just turn the camera or something? The camera is on. I don't know. I, don't, I think it's not working or something. 
Yeah, you just gotta. Well, I, can, well, I can see us. So you, did, you said you want to show your vehicles also? I, well, yeah, but it's, it's kind of weird. It's very, I mean, I don't know why you're being so weird. I'm not trying to make a problem. The, the camera's on. I can see the floor or something. Can you can you just turn it? And I just want to say hi. Jeez. Yeah. Are we, are, are we not in good communication this way? I'm not communicating with you. No, it's not about competition. It's just respect. I mean, I want, I'm going to be your employee, so I want to work. I just want to meet you. I, I don't know if that's... Oh, I do. I understand that. Actually, actually let me be sincere with you. Um, I'm just, I, I'm, 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 I actually handle the texts to handle that. Uh, when you want to do this, you have to explain, not to make things difficult for you. Are you getting it? I asked you to send your vehicle in picture. If you, you, you said you want... At least you want to do a video, which I actually agree. Yeah, but I can't see you, you know, so it's just kind of kind of mean. I don't. I, I just can I just say hello? Like, you're my new employer, right? We yeah. are. Let, let me see the work request. It's out front. It's outside of my house. But can you just show? I just can I just say let hello? Me, let me see. What? Well, what? Ask me. Is that what you? Is that what you said? Want to show me? What? Then why are you telling me not to see my face? Because I just want to oh, say. This is a business. Cause I'm your employee. Oh, it's respect. Shit. Oh my god. Out of respect. Calm down. You you calm down. I'm not trying to get upset. I'm just saying, can I see you? Can I say hello? I'm right here. Well, I'm still see that I'm ready to go ahead. Huh? Um, I think this is my first time of having clients. I, I have been, I have I have this to my under my Gary, I'm I, I, and I know I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be one of your best. I'm gonna be one of your best workers, and I'm gonna work for you for a long time. But I, I just want to establish a, a respect. I can't just say hello. Like, what's wrong? What's wrong with that? Huh? Let's let's just hold on. Let's do the right for things. It's not since we started working at Zanzo. Let me see the vehicle so that I can instruct your specialists. How is he gonna go about that? Gary. So wherever. Gary. You, you have my handle. Hold on. Hold on. You, have, you actually have my handle. If you don't see me today, everybody will see me tomorrow. If you don't tomorrow, then you will not see me, okay? You're making me feel like this is not, this is, we, there's something weird going on. If you just let, if you just say hello to me, I'll go and show you the car and send the money to the specialist. I can't see you for two. I think I'm. Huh? I'm, I'm going to. I, I, I don't know, I don't know what to say here. No, I'm like, well, well, I think if you if you think they're not being safe or you, it's it's looking kind of weird to you, I mean, don't say to check or not. What? What? I can't understand what you're saying. Seems it seems a bit scared or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why why you keep like okay from testing. You said okay, I should come back to. Gary, I, I just Your this. Which I told you, I'm, I'm not familiar with it. Look, you're a pro, you're a professional. I know. No, Gary, just listen. Oh, just li just listen. Just listen for a second. You're a professional. You've been doing this a long time. I respect that, but I like to have a personal relationship with my employers. I'm gonna do really good work. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna work for you for a long time. I just like to establish a little, like, say hello. Like, can you just say hi? Like, can I just want to see you so I know that I can feel more comfortable sending the money and getting this process moving? Ooh, not familiar with I'm not, you, I'm not sure you used this thing before. That's why the video is not showing. Yeah, yeah you have, no? the camera's working. I'm looking at the floor or something. I can see the camera works. The floor? Whatever I'm looking at, something black. I don't know, it's a, it's a couch or a floor or a wall. But your camera works. You just gotta turn it. That I can't, that I can't really see. It. Yeah, I see it. I, I see it. I'm seeing it. I'm looking at your camera right now. I can see the whatever it's looking at the the wall or the floor, something dark. Can you just turn it so I can say hello? You just gotta pick the camera up. It's, I, don't, I know I'm not a technical wizard either, but I, I do what I can. Are you are you on a phone or a computer? 
Yeah, my computer. Yeah, so just just turn it. Just turn it so I can see. Is I think everything is working perfectly. Like that, like that I can't really see. Yeah, yeah, it's working. I could see it move. The I could see it moving. Oh. Just gotta turn it. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Are you sure it's turning? Yeah, because no, the, no. the camera is on. I can see the room. I just need to, I just want to see you. I don't know what is wrong, bro. You just got to so move. What do we do? You just got to move the camera. That's all. Pick up the computer. No, the, actually, the camera is attached to the laptop. Huh? Is, is that that? There's, some, there's something covering the camera. If you just pick it up, you know, it's a piece of paper or something. I think maybe you just need to unplug the camera. Nothing is there, dude. Yeah, well, I can see it. I'm looking at it. I'm not blind. Nothing is there. Let me, let me see. Otherwise, maybe we should call back. Let's see what's uh, on the wall. Okay, do you want to do you wanna, do you wanna call me back? Let me say it works, yeah. Yeah, yeah, call me right back. Hello? Yeah, how are you? Yeah. Gary? Yeah, me, how are you? Yeah, uh, you turned your camera off. Okay, is it off now? Good. I said that yeah. I, I, that I can't know. Yeah, you can turn it back on. It was on five minutes ago. Just turn it back on. Gary, I have something to tell you too. Okay. You know the you know the first uh the first check you sent that never came? Okay. You you remember? It it went to my neighbor's okay. house. They gave it to my neighbor, so I have the first check. I have both checks. Okay. So what should I do? Because I deposited the one for twenty four fifty, but then I have this one for thirty nine fifty. So what what should okay, I do? That's it. Okay, you deposited that of twenty four fifty, right? Yeah, the twenty four fifty I deposited uh, earlier, but um, or yesterday, but I got the, the I called them today about it, but I got I just got this check for thirty nine fifty. They left it at my neighbor's house. That's why I didn't find it. Okay, okay, okay. It's only the second check, which is thirty nine fifty. Although with that, so I think you have to do that in a couple of days or next week. Can I? Can, with this, just can I cash this yeah. one too, and then I can I can get my friend's car, and we can do two cars. No, no, no. You hold on, hold on that till next week. Oh, next week. Next week. Okay, yes. okay. Because what I'm thinking is, if you're okay with it, I can I can cash both checks, and uh, we can book. I have my friend uh, Vlad. He has a, a a much nicer car than me, and we can put. I can pay for two um, specialist appointments. Um, I can send that to you, you know, to now, today, if you want. But um, I just need to get both cars, and we can do two at once. Yeah, I think you know what? I can't assure you that. It, um, I, I'll need to take to discuss that with my superiors. And um, okay, but if you want, like, if you need me to prepay, because look, I'm in this for the long haul. So if you need me to send, like you said, it was nine hundred, right, or something. If I send eighteen hundred um, on the cash app. Then we can do uh, both. We could do both cars. Well, 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 well. I have that. But that's your neighbor. You said is he living very close to you? What's that? That oh, that friend you say where does he stay? Oh, he's uh, he's he just lives like a couple houses down. Like he's he's a, a really close friend of mine. His name is Vlad. But again, I like I just want to I need to be able to see you and introduce you guys. Um, camera, this signal here. Is that, is camera sign. Yeah, camera yeah, sign on the bottom. Yeah, just click it. Yeah, it was on close to our, the last message, the last but... call we did. You were you. It was working. We can't go ahead with that that of your friend because um you need to undergo some signing by well. That's fine. I can get you all. The, I can get you all the information. I said we have to get your dog first. Okay. Well, let me see you, and then I'll send you the money. See, there's no, see, I don't know how to do about, I don't know how to go about all this. Let's I've do, uh, seen, looked, let's do, you want to do Skype? Let's do Skype yeah. instead, or Zoom. Do you have Zoom? 
let me see, let me see, let me see what I can do. Let me disclose my profile, so I will take it off from here. Okay. Okay. Wow.
Gary? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, just turn your camera on if you click the bottom. Well, I told you this camera is not working perfectly. I've told you this several times. I've told you this, I don't know, I don't know where you're out to. No, it's working. I can, can see it. You? It's on now. Just take what's off of it. You said what? You got something covering the camera. Just take it off. Yes, nothing is covering it. Yeah, there is. I'm looking at it. The lamp. See, I ain't want using it. Gary, don't come I on. Told, don't don't I don't. Have, don't. I have a crack on it. Gary, don't don't lie. Come on, you don't need to lie. I can see the camera. I can see something's covering it. Just take it off for a second. Yeah, you stand it today. Look at you know what? If you know you're not you're not interested, can you please refund it? Gary, you, I am interested. I just want to know who I'm working with. I'm going to be working for you for a long time. We need to have mutual trust. I'm going to send the money for two cars. Motherfucker. that made me fall for it was a combination of hope literally like I mean you see a check for you know two thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars it's like woohoo like that's exciting especially in a pandemic where you're not working as much so hope was definitely a huge part of it also I easily fell for it because it was so simple biggest factor that made me realize it was fake would be a combination of absolute intuition and gut and it feeling like, oh, it's probably too good to be true. And then, of course, the check being a different amount that was in the ad and that was advertised. 
I'm, I'm happy that I ended the situation where I ended it. I'm happy that I, you know, had the situation where I'm able to now go, okay, now I know for the future what to look out for. It is, it's, 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 it's honestly disappointing. It is what it is. I mean, it is disappointing that there's plenty of people who would have fell for this. I think it's important that I actually took the time and didn't act out of complete utter hope and desperation and took the time to go, okay, something doesn't add up. So I seeked advice. I seeked wisdom from my attorney. Many, many, many other people probably would have just cashed the check and got so excited that they had money to now invest or, you know, spend or buy groceries or whatever they need. So I'm so grateful that the process for me, the journey for me stopped where it needed to stop. And that I did seek the help that I obviously greatly need it. Huge grateful hug to David Albert Pierce, my amazing entertainment attorney, who's also a litigator, who is also a bulldog. And you can check out Pierce Law Group. They've been my attorney for, my gosh, over 10 years. And I love and appreciate them. They always have my back. So if you need an entertainment attorney, David Albert Pierce. And if a little tiny part of you feels like it doesn't feel right, seek guidance, seek help, seek wise advice. There are people out there that are willing to help you. My name is Christina DeRosa. I'm an actress, I'm a producer, I'm all over social media. You can find me on TikTok, you can find me on Instagram, you can find me on Twitter, you can find me on Facebook. I'm at actress Christina DeRosa. I post an awesome video at least once a day on TikTok. So check it out, you'll see me dancing, you'll see me hanging out, find me and uh, we'll connect. Not every scam bait can end with a face reveal or a police arrest, but that shouldn't take away from the importance of exposing the tactics and tools of deceit that these scammers use every single day. These scams are changing and evolving, and it's up to us as a society to keep awareness growing. I'd like to thank our loyal sponsor, Multivisions in Canada. Multivisions is a North American software distributor with over 15 years experience in software. And they have excitedly informed us about their new distribution deal with Komodo Cybersecurity. Komodo is the world's only centralized IT management platform that is powerful, efficient, and quick to implement. If you are a computer or software reseller, or if you own a computer repair store, Komodo's Endpoint Manager RMM suite is like having a whole staff at your fingertips. If you want to find out more, check out Multivisions on their website or Facebook page, or reach out to sales at multi-visions.com so they can give you a demo. Multivisions, thanks for sponsoring us. And cheers to an upcoming 2021 of partnership, scam baiting, and of course, plenty of shenanigans to spare.